Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about my favorite products for the month of March. And this time I've got a nice little mix of high-end and a drugstore. So just to get started, the first product that I wanted to talk about, I actually have two foundations. The first one is my high-end foundation that I've been loving, and this is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact Foundation. I'm so glad I did end up picking this on this year because I really like it. I really love it actually. Um, I love that it comes in a compact so it kind of keeps it like less messy especially for someone on the go who needs to do their makeup. And the cream compact, I've always been kind of afraid of like cream foundations but I was like okay now I want to try more and more and more. Um, I know there's other like compact cream foundations. I know there's like cover effects so I was like now I kind of want to try that one. But this one I really did love for my dry skin and I know like a lot of other oily skin normal skin I feel like this really is really good for all skin types I'm wondering if there's anybody out there who really doesn't like it if anything um, maybe you can't find your color so hopefully they'll like kind of widen the color selection but I feel like out of most of their like foundation face products I feel like this one has the most variety of colors for different skin tones and I got mine in the shade light and I think it suits me really really well but I just like how it applies I love how it wears I love how it looks I think this is a really great foundation. I'll link down in the description box my full review and demo just so you can see how it kind of performs and like my other thoughts if you want to know a couple more details but I really do love this foundation so much. So that is my high-end foundation. If you want to save some money you're also on the dry skin side. I feel like specifically if you're on the dry skin side the other foundation that I actually I was like you know I'm really liking this but I was like oh my god no I want to wear this again and again and again. I've been loving it. Is the Neutrogena their Hydro Boost Hydra Tint foundation. Foundation. I also just did a review and demo on this foundation and the shade that I have is nude 40 the only like gripe I kind of have with this foundation is the fact that it does oxidize but what I made sure to do is what you should make sure to do is kind of get a color that you think is a little bit lighter than what you might actually be so it'll oxidize to your actual shade so honestly I was like this is kind of light but then I heard it does oxidize so honestly when it does oxidize it kind of adjusts and matches my color so I honestly really really love this my favorite way to apply this is with a kind of uh, flat stippling brush and honestly I feel like any flat stippling brush the one I've been using is the wet and wild this is like a two three four dollar no more than four dollar <laughs> stippling brush and I have been loving it just pouncing on my skin I love the way that it feels it is really hydrating and it's lightweight and I am a full coverage medium to full coverage type of girl but I do like using lightweight foundations because sometimes you just want a nice light foundation for like every day maybe if you're on the go you just need to apply really quick or you can also build it up so say if maybe you're not into the meaningful coverage you have the option to kind of adjust to how you're feeling and I feel like this is foundation in which you can really do that so I love this if you want like nice hydrated plump skin honestly I feel like both of these do these this is what I love about both of these is that they feel really hydrating on my skin and they give me a nice really like luminous glow like a really nice natural healthy plump kind of a glow of a face so really great options if you're looking to maybe splurge a little bit and try something high end or if you want to save a little money but still find uh, a new try out a new foundation product so an eyeshadow palette I have been loving is the Bomb Cosmetics Meet Matrimony palette. I've been wanting this palette since it came out. I was like, I need it, I want it. Um, but one thing I usually do with the Bomb is, and what you should do too, is just wait for a sale. So either on the Bomb's website, every once in a while they'll have a flash sale, 50% off everything. Everything is 50% off. So kind of make your little wish list, and then when they have the 50% off, just go for it. And they'll have this throughout the year, a couple times a year. If not, wait for a Hot Look. H-A-U-T-E, I'll link it down below. I feel like the bomb comes out like quarterly with 50% off of their products with that one. Sometimes it's like selective, so if there's something brand new that came out, it might not be on there just yet. It'll be on there eventually. But if you can't wait, get a flash out. If you can't wait, I mean, just buy it, you know? But if you wanna save some money, half off, I think that's a really great deal and you can get way more products. So I finally got this during a flash sale. I love it so much. Once again, the bomb does not disappoint with their eyeshadow formulas. I have this one, and then I have their Meats Mattes, just like their matte palette. That's about this size as well, and then their... 
Oh, and then I have their Balm Nude Tude Palette. Love it. I love their eyeshadows. I love the pigmentation. I love the formula. I love the buildability. And once again, um, I have yet another palette, but a couple different color schemes. I love this color right here, this bur uh, burgundy maroon color. This one drew me. And I just feel like you can do a lot of really nice natural everyday looks, and you can just get really, really smoky if you want to put on the lid or anything. And I love the fact that you get a huge mirror. I love that it's sleek. I just love it. So the Balm Eyeshadow Palettes, definitely get them. I love their meat matte kind of like anything lines where they have their eyeshadows and even their um, liquid lipsticks which are really really great you should get some of those um, but I love I just love the bomb plus their you know cute packaging it's retro it's vintage it's whimsy I love it so definitely if you haven't tried the bomb I think you should definitely check some of their stuff out two kind of different highlighters that I've been loving so the drugstore option that I've been loving is the wet and wild this is their mega glow highlighter in the shade precious petals this came out a while ago and people were raving about it and it was so hard to get it in stores I was like do I need it no I don't do I need it no I don't I never got it and then I was like oh my god I need it finally they brought it back permanently and I got my hands on it and oh my god if you have not bought this I would definitely say check it out. They have two different options. So Precious Petals is their lighter option. And then they have like more for like a deeper skin tone, a little bit darker. So if you feel like this might be too light for you, which I think this is just complimentary in a lot of different skin tones. But if you get more tan, deep skin tone, definitely check out the other one. Maybe even mix them. I don't know. They're really affordable. I think this is no more than like $5. But oh my god. I was impressed by even the formula. Like it just feels so smooth. Oh, I just love and I love the way it applies. I love the color. It's got like a peach peachiness to it, but it doesn't show up like too peach in that champagne. I think it just complements my skin tone so much. I love it for a drugstore highlight. This is definitely up there. Like it's gonna be it definitely is one of my favorite drugstore highlights, but it's definitely like you know, if I had to pick like top three, it's definitely up there. Plus the price, ooh, they're doing really, really great. I love it. So if you haven't picked it up, definitely pick it up. The other highlighter that I have been loving is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in collaboration with Nicole Glow. Honestly, I didn't even think about this. Well, first of all, the packaging is adorable, so how could I not get it? Anastasia Glow palettes I think are really, really great. It was Nicole, Nicole Guerrero. She's an OG. I had to pick it up. She's definitely just one of my favorites. She definitely, I feel like, is somebody who's kind of inspired me to, like, kind of do, start my own YouTube channel. I've been watching her since the longest. I was like, I'm sorry. I just need to get it. I don't, I don't care. I need to get it. I need to have it. <laughs> but I love it. I love the colors that she chose for this palette. I love that they're really, like, pinky, feminine. I just... I just love the mixture in these and then honestly for me I think if anything I love them even more as eyeshadow so I'm actually wearing on my lid I'm wearing daydream because honestly daydream is a color that for my skin tone I wouldn't wear as a highlight I feel like it might be it doesn't complement my skin tone I feel like it'll be too dark as a highlight um, but that's the great way that I love this palette that these are actually really great for eyeshadows they're so pigmented like girl can you see my eyes oh my god these are I think eyeshadow is my favorite. So honestly, just do whatever kind of, if you want a smokiness, if you want something natural, pop one of these on the lid and I think it looks gorgeous. Also, add them as highlights. Ugh, I think they're great. So if you haven't picked up this palette, if you're an Anastasia lover, if you're a Nicole Guerrero lover, if you're a highlight lover, I think this is a really great one to have in your collection. And for me, honestly, because sometimes I'll get highlight palettes, or I've been thinking about getting highlight palettes, I was like, but am I going to use all of those? The fact that these are beautiful, gorgeous. I love them as highlights, but I think they're gorgeous as eyeshadows. Just really, it's like, okay, definitely, you know, what, 40 some dollars, very well spent. <laughs> So then the last two products that I have been loving for March are liquid lipsticks, kind of similar color families, and one's a little bit lighter, one's a little bit darker. Um, but the first one is, this is the Kat Von D, this is one of her newer colors for her liquid lipsticks in the color Ludwig. This one honestly reminds me a lot of bows and arrows, very, very similar, except this one definitely has more of that pink undertone, whereas bows and arrows is a really nice, cool brown. So it's similar, but if you want a little bit more pink, I would definitely say get Ludwig. I think it is gorgeous on its own or maybe like mixing it even mixing it with this next one that I'm gonna say um, just kind of putting it in the center so the other color that I have this is the Sephora line they came out with I don't know how many other new colors for their lip stains I love their lip stains I think this is a really great formula I think this is great for those of you who like liquid lipsticks but you don't like a really really drying liquid lipsticks I think they get that 
I think they did a really great job with these. The color that I have is number 23 Copper Blush. So this is still in that kind of like mauve color family. But this is a little bit darker because of course I probably don't have a color like this. You know, the tone is probably off by like, you know, 2%. But I had to get it. I love it. So Copper Blush. Copper Blush I think is really amazing for like almost all skin tones. I feel like every single skin tone can wear it and it's going to look different on different skin tones. One of my friends, she has I'm like, what color is that? And she's like, it's Copper Blush. Like, oh my god, I have that one too. And it looks different on me than on you, but look here, it looks really great on both of us. So honestly, if you're looking for like a really nice, like kind of nude, or if you want like a darker, rosy, mauvey nude, I think this is a really great option. And honestly, looking at these together, I think this would be really great mixed together as well. So those are my favorite products for the month of March. Not too many products, so I haven't got too crazy with the spending, but I did buy a couple more high-end products, um, which, you know, a little couple guilty pleasure I had to do there because I was, I was doing good about not buying high-end for a while because I was trying to you know go through drugstore new drugstore products and I was finding some great things there too but I wanted to splurge a little bit go to Sephora and stuff like that because who doesn't you know treat yourself so that's definitely what I did so I hope you guys enjoyed some of my favorite products for the month of March let me know what are some of your favorite products maybe some new ones that I should check out drugstore high-end I definitely like to do a good mix here I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to check the description box for some reviews and demos and some of the products that I mentioned if you want to know a little bit more and just some other stuff in case you're curious because why not once you start you can't stop kind of a thing um thank you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time